So let's talk about MAC addresses first. Uh, a MAC address is a hardware identifier used in network and plays a critical role in device discovery and connection to networks, including Wi-Fi routers. Now, what is MAC randomization then? So first of all, historically, uh, the MAC address was always fixed, uh, used as an identifier of the device and, and uh, kind of a persistent naming mechanism for the device. And uh, all devices used until lately these vendor assigned MAC addresses by default. Uh, MAC could also be used to discover the manufacturer, uh, the device model and even type, because it was encoded in the MAC address. Now, MAC randomization changes all of this. MAC randomization is a process in which the endpoint device itself selects a random unpredictable MAC address for use uh, when it's connecting to the network. And it rotates this MAC address uh, once per day or more frequently and there are many other triggers uh, to change the MAC address. So with the iOS 14, Apple made a move to further obfuscate devices in line with previous efforts by Android and Windows or Microsoft in the Windows 10. And now, after this Apple release, it's, it's, uh, there's a reason to believe that uh, close to 30% of all mobile devices will adapt, or adapt Mac randomization in the coming months. Now, what are the impacts of this? Many management and policy systems in the network service provider world are based on knowing and applying controls based on Mac addresses on, on the devices. Kujo AI is here to help network service providers that want to use privacy respecting solutions for large scale device statistics and model detection without relying on MAC addresses. We can deep dupe and unify MAC addresses for devices on home networks and solve the MAC randomization issues for home based communications. Our AI based device intelligence solution is based on network metadata analysis. It respects the end user privacy and protects their identity. It links and merges device signatures that have randomized their MAC addresses. We merge historical user records of a device that uses multiple MAC addresses on different SSIDs. And we bring the total detection rate of MAC randomized devices all the way up to 92%. And we're working with a solution now on the second phase uh, that we bring out by the end of the year that will further increase the detection rate and the speed of the detection.